the veteran president of a great university was retiring and he was anxious to help his successor. And this epitomizes Willis's attitude toward me. So he brought him in and showed him the presidential office and the presidential desk and opened the top drawer and said, here are two envelopes. And he showed them to the young man and said, the first one says serious trouble and the second one says desperate trouble. You'll know when to open them. After about six months, the young fellow was in serious trouble. He opened the first envelope and the note said, blame it on me. That carried him nicely for about six months. But at the end of another period of six months, he was in truly desperate trouble. He had exhausted every possible remedy and was up against the wall. And he opened the second envelope, which said desperate trouble. And it said, prepare two envelopes. <laughs> Some of you hadn't heard a joke in a long time. Obviously. Now the second, except for Fred, you know, as a matter of fact, Fred, you asked for it. I wasn't sure whether I really ought to try a joke on this audience, but after you tried the one you did, I was courageous enough to do anything. Now the, the second story, the second story is true. The one I just told is up to now apocryphal. The second story is true. And that relates to the experience that Clark Kerr had back in the mid-60s when the University of California at Berkeley fell apart almost. And the regents, being men of uh, not much imagination, couldn't think of anything to do but fire the president. So they did, forthwith. Clark Kerr lost his job, but he didn't lose his sense of humor. He had a press conference and said, I leave as I came, fired with enthusiasm. <laughs> 